In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. And you know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. Uh-oh, here we go. Bro, what happened to our Yuri ship? What's going on? What? We started off holding hands and being so cuddly and sleeping in the same bed, and now we're dueling? Why? Why must you do this? Please don't. Is this going to have a happy ending? Dad, please tell me there's going to be a happy ending. Ugh, both sides are really fun. Oh, what? Kind of a bit of fan service there, but... Both sides are really fighting towards, you know, protecting each other, but one side's got to give. All right, we're going in. We're going in. I mean, she's not using her dragon crest just yet. You know, also, she ha she could probably, if she was super serious about this, she could go, like, release limiter on her, right? Would she use release limiter on Yuffie, though? I think I'm underestimating Yuffie. Because as strong as Anis is, and we saw her Excalibur move, Yuffie is the genius, like, genius princess. With that Arcan seal and a new, I don't know, upgrades to it. I mean, if you were in Anis' spot, this would be a really tough decision. Like, either or. You sacrifice or you sacrifice yourself. Obviously, everybody's going to try to sacrifice himself if you truly love the other. Nobody's okay, man. Nobody's okay. I just want them to stop crying all the time. No. Why can't we just hold hands and go on nice dates again, man? I can't forgive a world that hurts you. Anything that hurts her is bad. Therefore, I'm going to defeat you in the duel right now and hurt you. I, I know. Oh, oh, no. I don't know anymore. I don't know. Tilty, where are you? Please stop this. Here comes the dragon powers. Here comes the dragon powers. Oh. That claw-like effect is so cool, though. Every time she uses it, though. I'll suffer together. <sighs> what? Let's see how strong Yuffie really is, because this still really interests me. We haven't seen Yuffie really go all out before. I know she's strong, but Anisa has been the focus of the fighting. Hmm. All these different spirits? Is she going to Avatar State? Oh, holy shit, this effect is kind of nuts. What, what is that? The contract? What do you mean? What has been done? Why does Yuffie look like an endgame boss right now? She about to Excalibur us. Yuffie does, like, seems really godly right now. Hmm. A power that exceeds the dragon? Some kind of godly power of the spirits? It just obliterates it! Really? Wait, 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 you can't let it hit you though. Like, if she gets hit by this. If she gets hit by this. Hello? Yo, you should start up. Hello? Oh, wait, wait, wait. That was the effect of the Arcancia. I just took that head on. I don't want to hurt you. Let me just fucking drop this nuke on you. I know what you're trying to do, right? This is important for her. Trying to save Ani. It's just funny when she's like, I don't want to hurt you. But then she fucking does that. It looks like she's fine, though. That was beautiful. Like, the aesthetics of that move? Definitely. That means she lost. I really did underestimate Yuffie. She really is... The prodigy, genius princess. Now, does that mean Yuffie really gets sacrificed? She's definitely bound by the shackles of that contract. But, remember how Anis is also cursed by the dragon. Yuffie might have to, I don't know, live forever as a spirit until one day she passes it on to somebody. But Anis, won't she also, like, in different lores, if you defeat a dragon and take its core, in Elden Ring, anyways, you turn into this worm, which is not really a dragon. It's just like a dragon that can't fly. But well, I, I, I don't know. In, in some kind of twisted and dark way, couldn't they both be cursed together in the future and, I don't know, be happy? I, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to make the best of this fucked up situation. Oh. Please take my hand. <laughs> Imagine if she just goes like... Remember how she did that like two times last episode? Come on. Take it. Come on, take it. Please. Please. All right. Okay. O okay, we're back. 
this is a happier ending than I thought. <laughs> Lumi's like, bro, come on. I'm so bored here. <laughs> come on, like, what are we doing? Come on. <laughs> Let me just give you the contract so I can just fuck off. <laughs> no, don't say that. Mom always loved you. Even though mom was never actually there because she's too busy being an ambassador. <laughs> oh. Holy. Oh my god. Thanks, mom. These words of validation. So kind. Yes. Yes, we're not gonna excommunicate you like your little brother. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> He's gone. I'm sure he'll have a redemption arc, dude. Now, what about Yuffie, though? And I wonder what Lumi mentioned when Yuffie did her arc concealed power. And she's like, so it's been done? Like the contract was already done at that point? Oh. Oh. Interrupting her bed chambers. Oh, we're in our pajamas. Mm -hmm. I smell a Yuri moment coming up. Ooh. <laughs> Look at her looking at her. Because <laughs> it felt a little bit forced how she said, like, this is my only duty as like a princess. Like, I have to be queen. You can't take this away from me. That's definitely not what she really feels. What is this? To the grave? Alright, my lips are sealed. Oh, right. I almost forgot this is an isekai series. <laughs> I totally forgot. I, I actually completely forgot it was an isekai series. Hmm. That's an interesting point. I don't know really how that kind of works. That her soul from, I don't know, Earth, you know, steal the spot of what Anis really was here. And therefore, she can't use magic. I, I don't really know the, how the mechanics work here. Yuffie Hugger! <gasps> because if you're fake, then the girl that Yuffie fell in love with, you know, exactly! You'd be invalidating all those past stuff! A little lower, though. A little lower, please. That's the perfect response. To completely validate her existence. But she can't even use magic. Oh, Yo, enough crying. We've been crying too much these episodes. But this is like positive crying. You know, it's not like sad crying like last episode. Oh, oh wait, wait. Whoa, what was that look? Wait. Oh, oh. <laughs> you start. She initiated that. Holy shit. Holy shit, they're actually doing it! Push her into the bed. You know, that didn't feel forced at all. Like, there's a lot of Yuri anime out there where it kind of seems a bit forced, but all the build and lead up to this... <laughs> she's the one getting flustered. Yeah. <laughs> you are the worst and I love. Say it. Say it. Oh! Oh! I'm really glad they're uh, giving us all this Yuri fan service to wrap up the season. I really thought that this episode might have ended in a really bad way, but... And a little bit more than that? Oh, shit! Yo! Yuffie's definitely the top in this relationship. For what it is? What is this? Hmm? What is this? Oh, no, don't go blur. Don't, no, 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 zoom in. All right, whatever. We, we, we got enough. We got enough. <laughs> the council of boomers. <laughs> They're all being forced to take this shit. I'm surprised there isn't going to be a revolt, though. Wait. What are we measuring? For, like, a wedding dress? Marriage? I don't know. Oh, the retired life of the king is just gardening now. That's kind of nice. Wait, already? Time has passed? Holy shit, we got airplanes in the sky already? It's like the magic blade where she can imbue the mana into. Oh, thank you. We gave her Ark and Seal, and now she gives us this. Ark and Knife? I don't know. What is it? Airplane. Sky. Pretty cool. Celestial means of the skies. I never knew that, actually. Huh. Rainbow. Oh. Oh, stop it. Just to show off the new airplanes. It's not really an airplane. I don't even know what to call these things. It's not like a snowmobile. It's like an airmobile. I don't know. I'll just call it an airplane. Whatever. 
That's right. <laughs> These guys are like, shit, should we be letting this do? You know, this is heresy. This is sacrilege. Surprised they're really quietly taking this. They haven't tried to orchestrate some kind of assassination yet. Oh? That's what the measurements were for. The dress? Wearing them? So you don't have to... With the clothes, you can... Fly? What do you mean? Both of you will, I hope, will live long lives. But I don't think... I'll do something like immortality. Like, I don't think about a dragon. I feel like... Could... Yeah, like, as a dragon, I feel like something's gonna happen there, man. Stay with me forever seems very innocent and happy right now. But, but like... In the future, I don't know if they'll be wishing for that. Lumi's still around. Tilty! Look at those two birds in the sky symbolizing these two. Like, this is actually happening? Like, they can actually fly in these clothes? We have flying clothes now? Surely this is gonna work. Imagine that they fail and just run into the wall or something. <laughs> Live demos are scary, man. Whoa! Wings. I think Yuffie's looks like butterfly wings. So the clothes can produce... Oh, it's not really butterfly wings. But the clothes can produce magical wings and they can fly. That's fancy. Also way more stylish than those like, <laughs> you know, the airmobiles that they were riding. Oh, all these commoner kids can have something to hope and dream for now. But I'm really surprised the Council of Boomers are really not gonna do anything about this. I'm sure in the future season, they'll like plus some kind of, I don't know, assassination attempt. No way, they're just gonna let this go. <sighs> so pretty. Oh, but doesn't this feel like too happy of an ending? I, I'm surprised they're giving us the happy ending. And this is, you know, a very good ending. Just surprised the Council of Boomers aren't doing anything yet. Next season. Hmm? Oh, let me adjust that. Oh, I thought she was going to fix her ribbon or something. Oh! Oh! I'm going to work now. Be back later. <laughs> She's so embarrassed. She can't even kiss her on the lips. Unless Yuffie does it. Oh. Do it. Oh, she, oh my god. It's crazy the dynamic between the two. That Yuffie is the one taking the charge and leading. When you compare the state of Yuffie in the beginning of season one. Where Anis had to really take care of her. And Yuffie was like, Anis is the son. I can't do anything. I'm so depressed. But now it's, it's a little bit different. Anis is the one that's just getting, you know, taken. Damn, that's the season already. 12 episodes, but fantastic. The revolution's just started. And the Yuri is just starting too. I guess in the future seasons, this is when things are going to get really spicy. Because I refuse to believe things could be just too happy. And, you know... It's, it's way too calm. Some shit's about to blow down, but they can't really do that in the end of season one. You gotta have a happy ending, and in season two, shit's falling down. That's what I'm expecting. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please subscribe and check out the other videos and playlists on my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care.